Hey, beautiful one from a gorgeously warm Sydney yesterday. Um, anyways, are you somebody that needs a lot of reassurance? Are you needy? Are you someone that doesn't believe people when they tell you that they love you? And are you someone like I used to be where, unless someone told me they love me a hundred times a day, I didn't believe them? Honestly, at the height of my issues, it was massive. And I just want to say, if that's you, keep watching because this will make 100% sense, okay? I now know that I was incredibly needy and needed a lot of reassurance and a lot of hugs and a lot of it's okay, things are going to be all right, because I had major daddy issues. Now, I'm somebody who used to have mummy and daddy issues, and I had a really great chat with a guy, a dog walker today. And it's just amazing when you're a dog walker, the people that you meet. Um, and we spoke probably near on about maybe half an hour to 40 minutes. Um, and I passed along quite a lot of, uh, you know, quite a lot of things that have really helped me um, come to terms with kind of like that sort of like that needy energy that I used to have. And by the way, like if you're needy, it is exhausting for your partner. OK, bear that in mind. If you need if you need that constant validation and that constant reassurance, you're draining the life force out of your partner or your mum or your dad or your children or whatever. And I want to say that's because you need to work on what I feel and was true for me. And again, I can only ever give you my point of view and my opinion. OK, but for me, once I did like, you know, worked on the unavailable father, I worked on my daddy issues. I didn't need that much reassurance and I didn't need people to keep telling me that they love me over and over and over. So is that something that you look at? There's a great book called The Unavailable Father that I did. Mm, I think it was about April, May time, something like that. It was a really good book. Um, it's got a blue cover of a dad and a daughter. Um, there aren't that many um, dad-daughter uh, books, but there are a lot of dad-son books out, OK? Um, so that's one thing that massively definitely helped me. And also the other bit was the self-validation. And I kind of went on like a spiral and this will really help you. OK, so when I was like, OK, why do I keep needing, for example, my ex-partner at the time? Why do I keep needing him to tell me he loves me? Why can't I understand that someone telling me one time is enough? And why do I need to keep externally looking? And then I realised that actually I wasn't filling my own buckets. And how many times have you heard me say that? OK, it's really important that you fill your own bucket rather than look externally on social media or you look to Netflix or you look to reality TV or whatever, because all the while that you're looking external for that constant validation, you can't get full unless you do your healing. And this is why I talk about the inner child all of the time. OK, so on top of doing the books that I've done, working massively with LK and becoming the inner parent that I needed. So LK never questions anything anymore. I've even stopped cuddling my cuddly toy, which is I've only noticed that in the last couple of weeks. But I've had a cuddly toy that I've been cuddling since probably February time. And I don't I don't want to cuddle it anymore, which is really weird, which I suppose and this is on the back of it. It just shows me that I'm not needy anymore. Makes sense. Um, but what I want to say is once I started parenting LK and teaching her that, you know, I love her because that's the biggest problem. You see, you're looking for love externally because you didn't know what love looked like from mum or from dad. It's usually dad, to be fair, more than mum, you know. Um, so bear that in mind, OK, because I want to say, like, once you start working on your inner child and you start really getting to the meat and the bones of why you are the way you are, that's when you can change. And I did a reading for someone last night and I want to say, and just as a reminder for those of you who've just started following me, because I've just picked up loads of followers, OK, what I want to say is there are always three prongs when it comes to healing, OK? So when you're trying to heal, number one is have the awareness. What is it about me that I need to heal? OK, number two, catch myself. OK, um, oh, there I am there. OK, I'm doing it again. OK, but do not berate yourself when you catch yourself. And finally, number three, OK, do something different or find something that's going to heal that part of you that is causing this continuous issue. OK, anyway, let me know what you think to that, because honestly, the way that I've managed to repair an LK um, and do my um, unavailable father work, work on my massive daddy issues that I have, I no longer need anyone to tell me that they love me. I don't because I just know that, you know, it, it doesn't have to come externally. I know that because I love myself. I know that the inner work and the embodiment of loving myself means that must be reflected back to me. Anyway, have yourself a great day. Enjoy and I'll catch you soon. Bye.